around us with me pizza you're probably wondering where we are right now well we're in the middle of the ocean floating on an island made of iron well actually we're on an oil drilling site offshore but it's kind of like living on an island you see I just got a new job here and this is the place where we drill all the natural gas and oil from underneath the ocean floor. I've been here for months now. And let me tell you guys that life at sea is rough. I mean, it's noisy all the time. We work for 12 hours straight and then we have to fight over the phone to call our families who we haven't seen in a long time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We actually get two weeks off every month and we save a ton of money working here and it's actually there are plenty of things to do while we're on shore. So it's all good. I just wanted to paint you guys a picture of what it's like to live in an actual oil drilling site because today we're going to explore a company that drills oil in Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, Petro Vietnam Drilling. PV Drilling is a company that drills oil rigs. It's a subsidiary of Petro Vietnam or the Vietnam Oil and Gas Group, which is owned by the Vietnamese central government and is the country's largest oil producer, responsible for all the oil and gas resources in the country. Because of this, PV Drilling is able to compete with its foreign competitors for local contracts. The company has a total of five rigs both on land and at sea. They specialize in operating oil rigs in the ocean, or what we call offshore rigs. PV drilling operates jack-up rigs, which are sort of like floating islands that have long support legs that can be raised or lowered depending on the sea level. So it's self-elevating and floats on the water surface. Currently, they have three jack-up rigs and are investing in another one in the Gulf of Mexico through a joint venture. They also have another rig called the semi-submersive rig, which means part of the rig can be submerged underwater. This makes it more stable in deeper waters. PV drilling semi-submersive rig is the latest generation in the world standard. But apart from offshore rigs, the company also has a land rig in Algeria designed to operate in harsh desert environment. What's more, the company also earns money by subleasing their oil rigs to other corporations. In addition, PV Drilling offers services related to the oil and gas industry, such as supplying manpower, equipment services, maintenance, logistics, inspections, engineering services, and oil spill response services, for example. The company has the majority of market share in many of these services. Since around 80% of PV drilling's business comes from its mother company, Petro Vietnam, Petro Vietnam's strategy of aggressive investment plans will surely drive PV drilling's growth in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today with Mr. Zung, the CEO of PV Drilling. Hello, good morning, Mr. Zung. Good morning, Pisa Chan. Thank you so much for having us here at your office today. Yeah. What are the key services in each category? Like, which one is more key for you? Uh, talking about the income, uh, from drilling side, we have about 60% of the revenue mm -hmm. and 70% of the profit. Mm. Uh, the rest uh, come from the uh, wow technical services. I see. Yeah. And you know, because this business is so specialized, what are some of the main risks in operation that you face? So the income is 
how is the income spread out? Is it steady or is it not? For this moment, right. it's good. Yeah, the market uh, for the last two years, mm -hmm. and we expect that in the next few years, still good. Mm. Yeah, we we having quite good direct at this moment for for drilling rigs and also for the uh, wild technical services as well. We have been uh, quite good rate. And how do you acquire such technology and skills to wow. do all this? Okay. For the uh, acquiring the technology, uh, you know that working in the oil and gas, yes. we, uh, our customer expect to have a good technologies, right. uh, high efficiencies. So for us, as a local company here, we have two ways. We have to train ourselves. Mm -hmm. for our people, our staff, uh, develop uh, our technology. But uh, for us, at this moment, we have to acquire the technology from outside as well. Working with the partners, like you mentioned before, that we are working with uh, quite well-known uh, well, uh, oil oil services company in the world, like Baker Hughes, BJ, uh, Explos. So we're working with our foreign partners mm. and we can learn from them as well. I see. Yeah. So developing your own technologies and working with many partners worldwide. That's right. I yeah. see. And could you describe to us, you know, you mentioned that right now it's quite good for the company in, in mm -hmm. terms of industry, oil and gas. How That's is right. it? How much growth do you foresee? Uh, we expect that for, for the last five years, since 2008 to 2012, we're getting uh, uh, quite good uh, growing, mm -hmm. uh, about 30% in, uh, in uh, revenue and about uh, more than 20% in uh, profit. But in 2013, we compare to the last uh, uh, you know, five years, right. I think we can get even better than that. We mm -hmm. can get about maybe 30% in revenue and 40% in revenue. Uh, in profit. Oh, so you foresee a strong growth coming? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. I see. Mm -hmm. And you know, in this business, since you're a drilling company, right, the, the competition is from getting contracts. That's right? right. The business comes from getting contracts. And your main uh, kind of like customer is the Petro Vietnam Group. Is that right? Uh, at this moment, we are working for all the eye operator uh, who have uh, the presence here, not only Petro Vietnam. Ah. Petro Vietnam only one part. Uh, the main part, I think, at this moment, coming from foreign operators ah, as well. I see. Uh, Besides Petro Vietnam subsidiaries, mm -hmm. uh, we are working for the international oil operators like uh, Primo Oil, before BP now BP TNK, uh, Soko Konoko Philips, PTTEP oh. from Thailand, um, Petronas, uh, Talismans. Uh, Japan uh, no X. Uh, so we basically we work for all the the most popular oil operators who have their uh, their operations. So here. you have many key clients. That's right. What is competition based on? Like how do you win these contracts? What is the factor that makes them select the wow. drilling company? Is it the price or what? No, uh, not only the price. Uh, we are here right now, uh, really. Uh, you know, value by our uh, clients that we are giving them very high quality and safe services. Mm. We are giving them very competitive price. Not only that, we creating a lot of value added to to their operations as well. So we are competing with other uh, drilling services company here as well. Not only uh, because we are Petro Vietnam uh, subsidiaries. So we have to beat. Yeah, we have to go for the competitive pricing and we have to compete with them by the quality of the services, oh. by the, the, the safety that we gain right now. So for your information that uh, most of our rigs right now working with zero lost time incident. Mm. Yeah. So to sum up, you compete on price, quality of service and the safety that you provide your clients. That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much again for today, Mr. Zung. Thank you very much, Pisaja. It was a pleasure you. meeting you. Pleasure to meet you. Financial highlights. PV drilling's revenue at the end of 2012 was around 11.9 trillion VND, 
or almost 17.9 billion baht, growing by 30% from 2010. Its profit after tax was about 1.3 trillion VND, or about 1.9 billion baht, a 24% growth from 2010. Its ROE was at 20%, and the market cap of this company is 10.4 trillion VND, or 15.6 billion baht. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Petro Vietnam. Join us again next time for more company highlights with Me Pizza. And as for today, my shift has ended, so I'm gonna catch the last helicopter ride home. So I'll see you guys on shore. Bye! for our next episode on Stocks Around Us. We're gonna take you to one of the most successful chain restaurants in Thailand.